Hello and welcome back to Roy's desk. I hope you all are doing good. I'm back with another installment to the amplifier project. Now if you have seen this video, you will know which cabinet I'm using and that cabinet is having two fan section. Now since it's having two fans, we'll definitely need one fan control circuit. I assume you won't be directly connecting the fans to the power. We'll definitely need one fan control circuit which will only trigger the fans or which will only switch on the fans in case of temperatures exceeding a certain point. The circuit is very simple. It's this small which is also having this rectifier section. Ideally we will just need one comparator and obviously we will also need to know the concept of hysteresis. I'll later explain in the video what is that and why do we need that. So in this video we will see how to design this type of circuit. We'll talk about hysteresis, how to calculate that and then we will test this circuit. So without wasting any further more time let us quickly get started. So before going into hysteresis, we should understand why do we need it actually. So this in here is a basic comparator block which will compare two different voltages and depending on the scenario it will switch on the transistor which will again switch on the load which is a fan in this case and say for condition 1 when V ref is greater than V sense the comp is off and the fan is off and in scenario 2 when V ref is less than V sense the comp is on and the fan is on so these are the two scenarios for this comparator block but there is a problem with this let me tell you that Say for our case, we set the V ref to be 40 degrees Celsius and V sense is from the sensor which is connected to the heatsink of your amplifier. So when V sense is less than 40 degrees, then we know the fan is off. But for the second scenario, when V sense is approximately close to 40.999 degrees Celsius, the fan is on, right? But think of it, the fan will be cooling off the heat sink now and as soon as the fan is on, the heat sink temperature will again go down. So in the third case, whenever V sense is lesser than 40 degrees Celsius again, the fan becomes off. And again the amplifier is still on at this case and again it becomes close to 40.999 degrees Celsius and again the fan turns on. But again when the fan is on, it cools down the heat sink and it, again it becomes 40 degrees, lesser than 40 degrees Celsius and the fan is off. So this two stage will continue and this will lead to what is called oscillation. It will go back and forth in the same situation and it will, if it's a relay, if you have a relay like in here, it will just switch on switch off the relay continuously and it would just damage the circuits inside it. So this is a very very bad idea of doing or just using a simple comparator block to sense the signal and just giving the output to the transistor. Definitely by directly connecting the fan to the power when it's always on is also a very bad idea when you are listening to music at a very low volume. You don't need the fan. Actually the fan sound would bother you if you are listening to music at a very low level. So this is our main circuit block for this board. Well, I'm using one LM311 IC which is one open collector comparator. This open collector is important here. I will tell you later why. And these are the exact resistors that I have used. So you can see that the non-inverting input is connected to one voltage divider connected to this 7.5 volts and that's why we are getting 3.75 volts. And the vSense in here is basically connected midway in between this potentiometer and the NTC in here. So this gives out the vSense voltage and the out is connected with one or it's pulled up with one 1k resistor in here and that's our feedback network. So we add hysteresis by just adding one positive feedback or we just feed a little amount of voltage from the output to the input or the non-inverting input. 
so the main idea behind this circuit is that the fan will switch on at a particular threshold and it will switch off at a different threshold so this two different thresholds will solve the problem of this comparator ic going into oscillations or switching on and off because it will switch on at a particular temperature and it will switch off after cooling down quite a while so you can adjust the hysteresis by just changing this resistor now let's talking let's do the math okay so the two scenarios will be suppose for the first scenario when v sense is lesser than 3.75 volts that means the non inverting input is higher than the inverting input at this case normal comparators will be on but lm311 in here will be off since it's an open collector output type comparator so when the lm311 is off the output will be pulled towards the positive voltage which is 7.5 volts in here so if we just exclude this comparator in here if we just draw the equivalent circuit with just resistors the circuit will look like our voltage divider in here 1k and 1k 7.5 volts here so we have one resistor pull up resistor 1k and the other one which is the feedback resistor 20k will be connected in the middle of this our output is again in here so that will be our equivalent circuit in here now if we solve this equivalent circuit you'll see that we have our voltage divider 1k and 1k this is 7.5 volts right and what we have in here is 21k resistor in parallel to this now again if you solve this further it becomes 1k in here 7.5 volts in here 21k and 1k in parallel gives us 954.5 ohm so what is the voltage at this point now that would be 3.83 volts now the other condition i don't know if it will fit in this board or not but when v sense is greater than 3.75 volts now the lm311 is on lm311 being on means the output is pulled to the ground now the open collector output if you don't know is just one npn transistor which is connected like this this is where i just remove this this is the equivalent circuit so what we are taking from the output is just the collector of the internal circuitry and the emitter is connected to ground through pin 1 of lm311 i believe this is pin 2 this is pin 3 this is pin 7 this is pin 1 which is connected to the emitter internally and that is grounded so when lm311 turns on that means that this transistor internally is switched on when this transistor is switched on it pulls the output towards the ground through the emitter so what we'll have at the output is zero volts now if we draw the equivalent circuit we have our potential divider in here which is similar to the other one but now since this one is ground this out is zero volts this 20k in here is connected to zero volts so the other end of the 20k is connected in between this resistor network so that is this connection this is our 20k and the other end which is this out is connected to ground in here so now this two are in parallel this is 7.5 volts again so 7.5 volts at the top i'll draw like this 1k in here 20k and 1k parallel means 952.38 ohms and what is the voltage at this point now this is 3.65 volts as per the calculator so these two voltages are most important part in our hysteresis circuit okay so now let us conclude our calculations so there will be two scenarios and two different v refs that we have seen through the calculations now let me tell you what will happen with those two different reference voltages 
Now, normally, when the circuit will be switched on, when we will just switch on the circuit, when the amplifier is not powered on or something, the circuit will be in state 2. That is, the vSense will be more than the 3.75 volts. The vSense will be close to some 4 volts or something, for example. And at that situation, LM311 will be on because it's an open collector and it will act in a different way from the other comparators. When the LM311 is on, the output of the LM311 will be pulled down towards ground and the Q1 transistor in here will be switched off. And when Q1 transistor is switched off, the fan will also be switched off. So that is the initial state of the circuit. And now when we switch on the amplifier and the circuit starts to heat up, the heatsink basically starts to heat up, the vSense will start reducing down. And the vSense will start reducing down till what point is the first VREV that is 3.65 volts. So 3.65 volts is the voltage required by the vSense so that the LM311 goes into the next state. That is it goes into the off state. So when the vSense starts reducing down as the NTC re resistance starts going down so will the vSense voltage will start falling down and whenever it reaches close to 3.6 volts or 3.65 volts the LM311 will go in off state and when it is in off state the transistor Q1 will be pulled towards the VCC or here 7.5 volts and the fan will be on. Now what happens is we come to the first condition when vSense is lesser than 3.75 volts okay so now suppose i'm just for example i'm saying the vSense is somewhere between 3.4 volts or 3.3 volts and the fan starts and it and the heatsink starts cooling up so whenever the heatsink is cooling up ntc resistance will start building up and the vSense voltage will also start climbing up so when the voltage of the vSense is more than 3.83 volts which is a second V reference voltage that we calculated at that time the LM311 will again change its state from off to on and when LM311 is in on state that means the transistor Q1 will again pull towards ground the base of the transistor Q1 will pull towards ground and the transistor Q1 will switch off and that means the fan will again switch off so the fan starts at 3.65 volts but the fan stops at 3.83 volts. We will prove this while testing. So the hysteresis in here is 3.83 volts minus 3.65 volts that gives us around 0.18 volts which can be further increased or decreased by changing the feedback resistance. So now keeping this in mind let's move on to the circuit diagram then we will see the testing. Okay, so before going into testing, this is the circuit that I'm using in here. It's a pretty simple circuit. If you understand the hysteresis concept, there is nothing much to explain in the circuit. Let's go into testing now. Okay, so I made the setup in here. 12 volts AC coming into this board, getting rectified through this rectifier circuit. I'm using LM317 to power the op-amp and also have the collectors connected for these transistors and this is not giving 9 volts this is giving 7.5 volts it's just because of the resistors that i'm using here i can also use 9 volts with this but i'm using 7.5 volts from this lm317 so i'm probing the third pin and the ground with this so we can see the potential difference created by this tuning potentiometer and the ntc in this multimeter and this multimeter is going to show us the temperature so i have actually directly soldered the temperature probe to this ntc so we can get a good temperature reading from this uh, definitely these meters are not accurate but at least we can get some idea about the temperature at which it triggers and i hope you remember the two thresholds that we calculated earlier one was 3.65 volts and another one is 3.8 volts so we will remember those and we will try to heat this up and see at what voltage we will measure the voltage here so at what voltage this triggers and at what temperature this triggers and at what temperature and what voltage this switches off the fan again so let's start the testing i'll switch on the board in here that's a nice green led actually i don't know why i like this color so much but anyways let me switch on the meter 
yeah so we are reading 4.47 volts at this moment and let me switch on the temperature so it's 23 24 degrees celsius fan is off at the start now obviously when i will heat this the voltage will come down in here and if you remember the two thresholds that we calculated it's supposed to switch on the fan at around 3.6 volts or 3.7 volts so i'm just using this soldering iron to heat it up we're reducing the voltage in here and increasing the temperature in there okay 3.7 volts it switches on now we'll just see at what voltage and at what temperature it switches it off I'm not fast forwarding anything. This is real time that we are seeing here. So, very close to 3.8 volts now. Yep. The switches off the fan at 3.8 volts exactly. Now I believe it switches on the fan at around 60 degrees Celsius or something. I don't want that high temperature for it to switch on the fan. I want around 50 or 45 degrees Celsius at which the fan should switch on i just need to tune the pot in here the potentiometer in here then we can adjust the temperature at which we want the fan to trigger but i believe you can understand from this test that this is how the hysteresis works it switches on at a particular point and it switches off at a different point not at that exact point so that it does not oscillate okay so that's the update of the cabinet at this moment i have fixed this rectifier circuit in here all four amps have uh, fixed the heatsink directly to the cabinet and these are the TL networks that are also done and if I show you the back panel uh, this four are for the woofers this type of connectors and this side is for the tweeters two channels stereo and this slots are basically for the fan and if you can see i kind of this is not a design basically i at first i messed it up this was still here this is like a full length panel acrylic panel but then while drilling the two holes at the sides i messed it up i broke it then i thought i'll just make a design like this in here so that i have some space to use the fuse and the wire holder and the switch in here Okay, so um, this is where the switch is going to go. This, I, I forgot the name of this one. This is a uh, wire holder. That's what I call it. It's number nine. This is going to go in here and that's the fuse. This fuse holder is a good quality fuse holder. This is Elcom fuse holder. And this is going to go in here. So those three will come in here and it looks a bit sketchy because i did not remove the sticker in here but it will look good all the holes are neatly done so i believe it's time to end the video i have talked a lot and thank you for your patience for watching this video till this point if you have any questions regarding this video please do let me know in the comments please do like share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon you will get notifications whenever i'll upload a new video We'll meet again soon. Till then, bye-bye.